Mr. Nader, you've been fighting political entrenchedness for most of your career. And in West Virginia, coal is, of course, very entrenched. And I think a lot of West Virginians would admit that coal's been sort of mean and ugly for the state. But I know personally, I still see a lot of friends of coal stickers when I go out and about. And I Fri think friends of what? Friends of coal. It's a yeah, campaign right. by the industry to support mm -hmm. coal. And I know a lot of those people rely on coal for jobs and for income. If you were to somehow get a moratorium on mountaintop removal, what do you offer as alternatives to those workers and those school districts in southern West Virginia that rely heavily on that system of mining? Right. Well, as you know, automation has dramatically reduced the number of coal miners, hugely. You want to talk about something that keeps employment down. Um, and you don't see coal miners hacking off the top of a mountain, do you? These gigantic machine <laughs> machines do it. So this is a dwindling percentage of employment. Uh, severely dwindling in uh, in West Virginia. I think if you converted uh, the state and our country into solar energy, like passive solar architecture, retrofitting buildings, decentralized social, solar thermal repair, etc., it's much more job intensive and much cleaner than whatever coal mine industry is going to give West Virginia. And of course, it's environmentally much more benign. That's the great thing about solar in all its manifestations is that it not only reduces global uh, warming and not only doesn't rip up your land and your mountains and silt your streams with acidic runoffs and get workers sick, but it's very decentralized for small business employment. I mean, it's just like anything else. If you have a solar support a solar sustained t uh, town in Morgantown. Just think of all the jobs. You know, installation, maintenance, uh, replacement, all of that is jobs. And they're, they're far more distributed. They're not just in some coal, coal mine area. And they're better for everybody. The highly capitalized coal industry and adequate employment is a misnomer. You just don't get it. It's too automated. You look at those strip mines in Wyoming, you have a hard time looking at a human being there other than these gigantic shovels uh, uh, run by very, very few uh, workers. No, I don't. And also, coal, the coal mine companies are not paying their way. They don't pay adequate property taxes to support the schools. They always find loopholes in the federal tax code because of their lobbying in Washington. They're no bargain. I guarantee you, 50 years from now, mining coal in America will be considered a crime against humanity in all ways. Worker health, land preservation, land erosion, rather, and climate change. It's not the way to go.